Well, after the dramatic fire that destroyed our Leopard 50 catamaran, it's time to start boat shopping all over again at the Annapolis Boat Show. This week, we feature the Balance 482. So join us to see if it's really possible to enjoy a performance catamaran while still having the luxury cruising comforts at the same time. Kick off your shoes and come barefoot with us. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you too. We are the Barefoot Doctors and I'm really privileged to come on board the Balanced Catamaran. So Thanks for visiting. Tell us about yourself and the, the brand. Okay, well I started sailing catamarans when I was uh, 11 years old. Uh, I got a Hobie Cat when I was uh, 13. So I started Hobie Cat racing in the late 60s. Um, Hobie Cats really changed my life. I wrote books on racing Hobie Cats and catamarans and two months in Australia going around going to beach clubs talking about catamarans and and then I formed a company called the multi hole company which is a brokerage company that we have mm -hmm. and we were specializing in buyer consulting for a couple decades really we still do we sell about 125 catamarans a year at the company globally um, I think we're probably the largest in terms of volume I sold used catamarans for you know two decades so I've surveyed catamarans all over the world I've seen every kind of survey, every kind of surveyor, I've sailed every kind of boat. And I got to the point where I decided that I really wanted to design my own boat. Uh, you wanted to make it right? Well, I wanted to, I wanted to make a boat that I believed in, that uh -huh. I liked. Uh -huh. And you know, there's no perfect boat, as you know, yeah, absolutely. Uh, but I wanted to strike the balance of what I felt was a boat that was a good voyaging boat, a performing boat. A boat that would be easy to maintain and care for and a boat that had ergonomic features that I liked mm -hmm. and a key part was for a couple to be able to sail the boat shorthanded really easily but a boat that still sailed really well you mm -hmm. know you could knock off real miles and would perform well to windward wouldn't be pounding and slamming mm -hmm. all the mm -hmm. time the big growth in the catamaran industry over the last 15 years or so has been the charter industry and when they design those boats their first thing they're focused on is charter mm -hmm. and so when you're focusing on a boat for charter you're not focusing on a boat for voyaging and you make compromises to make the boat better for charter so this boat isn't making those kinds of compromises on the other hand you have to build a boat that's comfortable and that has mm -hmm. storage and that people like to live on uh, you know so that's uh, what balance is about we're also I think we're into innovation uh, at balance uh, I don't mind pressing the envelope a little bit and working on things. I think the VersaHelm that you know we'll talk about later was one of the things that we really pushed the envelope on. It took a lot of work to figure out how to get it to work right. I mean, our, we're kind of a victim of our success right now, though. So we're, our volumes, we're now sold out into 2025. Wow. Well, we have, I think, 65 boats, you know, under mm -hmm. under contract mm -hmm. we're building now. And, and how long have you been building for? Like, how many years have you been in? So we started uh, Balance in... Uh, 2020 was when I started the design work with Anton de Toy. This boat's built in Cape Town, the 482 and the 442 by Mark Delaney. Uh, he and I go back, again, years. It, it's weird about South Africa because I won the Hobie Worlds there in 1979, December of 79. And so I met all those those guys. They, they, they're all, we're all Hobie guys down uh -huh, there, you uh -huh. know? It's really, truly. Uh -huh. And the whole burgeoning cat scene is tied to the Hobie worlds there and then oh, yeah. every small hobie guy wants to become a big hobie guy uh -huh, uh -huh. and if you're stoked about sailing you're stoked about sailing right yeah that's and, right but i like the way a boat feels when it's sailing it uh -huh. is just you know we were out over doing demos last week on the 526 and we had like 14 to 21 knots of wind and it's cool to be going 12 14 knots on a boat and just a shh yeah, no, it's a wonderful feeling isn't yeah it? it's a wonderful yeah. feeling and it's cool not to have the engines on yeah yeah absolutely yeah uh -huh. Yeah, and then, well, the nice thing about performance-oriented cats is that you 
reaching, you're going to be doing wind speed, and mm -hmm. even in like six or seven knots of wind. Mm -hmm. And so you're not really motoring that often. No, that's right. Yeah, and you're going to windward a good five or six degrees higher than you would on a keeled cat with mm -hmm. a boarded cat. Mm -hmm. So your sailing circle, you've added 10 degrees mm. to where you can actually sail to. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so Brilliant. that's the story of balance, really. And um, we, we really have been taken aback a, a by our success, you know. Um, good. So it's... Uh, yeah. Well, when you produce a good product, the success follows. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Um, and we take care of people. Like, we're very, you know, kind of family-oriented. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. you know, having owned a boat, that there are complex floating ecosystems yeah. bouncing around in the most corrosive environment on yeah, Earth. Absolutely. And, you know, you're asking them to steer themselves and to uh, tell you where other boats are. And they're, they're, they're making water and they're, they're cooking. And they're, I mean, it's, they do everything, That's right? <laughs> and so I find that from a warranty-wise, we find we have very few warranty issues related to the boats we're building. Mm -hmm. But the electronics and the this mm -hmm. and the moving mm -hmm. parts and that mm -hmm. and that, you know, it's always stuff. Yeah. But what we found is that somebody actually has to really advocate you know, mm. for, for, for them. Because otherwise it's just a Yanmar dealer here, a Yanmar dealer yeah. there. You know, they don't have a, like a, 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 a motiv they yeah. don't have a motivational commitment yeah. to take yeah. care of somebody per se. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so we're, part of Dunbar's job is to interface with our, our suppliers. Like if right. our Yanmar supplier in South Africa is motivated to make sure we keep using Yanmar engines, mm -hmm. right? So if we have a problem, we lean on him to uh -huh. lean on the other guy uh -huh. to, you know, uh -huh. Uh -huh. sometimes you have to do a lot of leaning, yeah. <laughs> That's right. you know. This is a 482. We'll talk about design if you want first. So where I'm sitting is kind of a, a, a kind of a good spot. Like a lot of people ask me, if you look down, you see that uh, this uh, is this floor is raised a bit, right? Yeah. So everybody says, well, why'd you raise the floor? Well, see where I'm sitting right now? I'm looking over the deck of the boat, mm -hmm. okay? A big part of our philosophy is to be totally connected to the water wherever you are in the boat. We yeah. want the most visibility uh, when you're sitting and when you're piloting the boat. And the reason we use glass windows and we have them a little bit more vertical is when you're sailing from the downhill in my boat, you're looking through the boat. So our boat doesn't need a dodger and it doesn't need ice and glass. It doesn't need a, a bimini or anything like that because basically Whenever the weather is foul and wherever you're on watch, you're, you know, the on watch person can sit here and um, these throttles can be used to steer the boat and you can also, you know, adjust the throttles and you can steer the boat from down here. So if you see how it is right here, I'm looking over the bows of the boat, yeah. all right? Yeah. Okay. And, and by having the wheel very close to, to this bulkhead, if you need to look to the side, you see? Oh, yeah, yeah. You can see to the sides. A lot of catamarans, the visibility is terrible. It's just not, yeah. it's not thought through. And, uh -huh. you know, a lot of catamarans have these sort of, uh, the, 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 the side deck goes forward. They've got like these fins that go down, yeah. right? And then you've got, well, that creates just a big blind spot. Okay. Uh -huh, you may uh -huh. think it, it might look cool. It might maybe be sexy for somebody, but it's uh -huh. not. Practical. It's not a practical feature. Sure, sure. So, You've also got really good views of the stern. So when oh, you're yeah. reversing into oh, yeah. docks. Uh, <clears throat> from here, you can see all four corners of the boat. Uh -huh. All four corners. And this top, of course, just slides closed, right? Okay. This this just slides closed. So you're completely protected from the weather. Completely protected from the weather. Because that's certainly one of the main features of when, when you're cruising. You don't want to be out being wet all the time. If it's really foul weather, you need to be in protection. And it, it becomes very fatiguing, yeah. too. And also... You know, when you're down here, closer to the center of the boat, the motion is much better. Mm -hmm. The higher you sit up on a boat, the more motion you're experiencing, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. the way this works is this position here is after you've done all your reefing and you've done your, your sail handling. But when you're doing your sail handling, you have it here. So so here you, you, you can do everything, right? All right? You can stand up and work the stoppers. You have three three winches. All, all the lines oh, okay. fit into these boxes. You have your electric winches here, your, your foot pedals. Yep. So you see, you can reach the stoppers. Obviously, all Dyneema ropes too. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. But we've got a plotter here. Yeah. This one we've got the cameras on at the bottom. Yeah, I was yeah. just gonna. Yeah. 
So this is a camera underneath the... Uh, oh, so you know when the anchor's up? Yeah, so you can look at the anchor wow. when you're anchoring, yeah. Okay. Um, and then we do have a bimini, but it's a sun bimini, only yeah. for sun. You just yeah. flip it up, hook it on, uh -huh. and you can adjust it for how much sun you want. And you see how easy it is to step off the deck, right? Yeah, it's all the same level. Mm -hmm. And the big thing that for me is you want as little up and down as you can get when you're walking on the decks and flat. And we mold it in our own handholds oh, so okay. you can follow yourself forward on this boat holding on. And each of these have drain holes, uh -huh. so it's a water catchment system. Yeah, yeah. we have holes for hoses. Um, yeah. We design our windows uh, with real glass, and they're, 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 you can see there each pane is flat. So yeah. the Easy reason to replace. it has a diamond shape is, first of all, I actually think the diamond shape looks really cool myself, but the windows are easier to replace. You yeah. don't have to order something from us per yeah. se. Yeah. You can be anywhere in the world and you can get you know glass yeah. like this replaced. We use a self-tending, a big, tall self-tending blade jib on the boat. And what I like about the self-tending blade jib is you can center the main sheet in the center with a little bit of you know sway on either side. You can set the stoppers and, and, and short tack the boat all day and not even touch a line. Because this wow. boat is tacking from a very high angle. Wow. So you just turn the wheel over, boom, it tacks, you know, boom, it tacks, <laughs> boom, it tacks. And then, of course, like most boats, you have a... Well, we call them screechers here in the States. Yeah. I, and then you've got these two electric foot pedals. All the uh, lines on the mast are stuffed down in a line box. All right. So you don't coil the lines uh -huh. on this boat. You just feed them in so they never get cranked up. And okay. Oh, wow. It's a huge space. And then that, of course, has a drain. It's funny. We've never had a tangle inside there because you're just stuffing things in. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Right? So you don't, you, yeah, you don't get a tangle. And, and this is a big locker that can be used for a, a dive compressor or for a, a spare bladder tank. Um, on the port side of the boat, we just have the, a, a large deck hatch and it's just a big, deep sail lock. Yeah. Oh, with steps, that's nice. So, these are uh, deck lockers for fenders and ropes. Oh, uh, yeah. Easy access. Yeah. We designed this Longeron to be two beams that run back so that the anchor roller can sit in the middle. So you have your bridle back here, you set your anchor, and then you just hook on your bridle. Uh -huh. And look at the distance between the deck and the trampoline. In a lot of boats, the height, the height drop as well. Significant, and look at yeah. That. yeah. That's a big difference. So, you know, that, those are tripping hazards, in yeah. my opinion. Well, and, and so we have dual dagger boards on our boats. Mm -hmm. um, on the 526, the board was captive. It, it didn't come above the deck. Right. Um, and then we decided to go to these because when you do them like this, the trunk only needs to be e-glass. It doesn't need to be all carbon. Right. And they can be shorter cord length and they can go deeper. So you get okay. a bit more performance. Okay. Strangely, it's also, I found like in Europe, it's kind of a bling thing. It's really weird. Like if you don't have the boards up, they don't think they you don't have think a, you're a performance guy. Think, yeah, it's very, <laughs> it's very interesting. Yeah. No, they work good. And you know, you have a nice flat space to walk through here, yeah, which is important. Yeah, very clean lines. Yeah. And we find that the, the soft panels don't perform nearly as well as the glass panels. Yeah, that's right. And we also find that if you don't have air flowing underneath them, they don't perform well. And we find that, that if you, you don't, yeah. And if you don't have an individual regulator for each panel, then you're obviating. Uh, you're the, losing the, stuff, the, yeah. The loose, yeah. And they, we find that these things perform actually better than their ratings. All right. When you get air underneath them. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. As far as the um, electrical on the boat, we use. Um, integral alternators. They're Yanmar engines, and that's your integral alternator. Right. So the integral alternators charge at 48 volts, the um, house bank yeah. of lithium batteries. They charge between seven and nine kW each, so they are as powerful as a generator. You could be drained down 50%, and we could fire up the engines here in Annapolis, and before we got out to the harbor, the batteries would be topped off. Wow. It's insane. Uh -huh. So you don't have to have a generator anymore. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's really, really nice. It's I mean, also very green yeah. because every time you're running your engines, you're charging your batteries yeah. and you're charging them very efficiently. Yeah, yeah. And so we, we think that d dual diesels with integrals is the right way to go. We don't think that battery storage capacity and solar capacity is yet to where electric engines, electric motors make sense yeah, yeah. for a voyaging boat. Yeah, yeah. Because you don't have the range under yeah, power. Yeah. 
and then when people want them, I say, well, look, you're, you either need to get one generator or two generators, so you're still burning diesel. Yeah, yeah. So they have lithium batteries. What's yeah, 800 amp hours. 800, okay, good. Yeah. For you Aussies and, and uh, South Africans, you know, we have a, a barbecue. A barbecue. <laughs> they, call it a, they call it a braai. What, you guys, uh, what do you guys call barbecue, it? Barbecue, uh, yeah. Barbecue, yeah. The headroom's massive. I mean, you're what, over six foot? I'm six one, yeah. Six one, and yeah. you've got like, I don't know, two foot above so, your head so, there. And so there's six foot, ten inch headroom in the saloon. <laughs> the, the place that you really need to stand, obviously, is in the galley, uh -huh. right? Because you don't need headroom when you're in yeah. there, because yeah. you're sitting, right? Leaves fold over, and so it becomes like a smaller coffee oh. table. And then this drops down, and this becomes an entire bed. And then we designed our own special television arm. You can turn this to face there. You can watch a, a movie uh -huh. out there. You, you can run the char potter here. Uh -huh. Gives you a lot of versatility. Yeah, yeah. These uh, bow spaces, uh, we can turn this into like an office or a locker or whatever. Yeah. This boat, we made this so you can put rails for hanging lines oh, yeah. and things like that. Yeah. You can put yeah. kite gear in here, you can put bicycles in here, you know, all that kind of uh -huh. stuff. On our boats, we run two of the bursts athwart ships like this. So we run our wet decks out. We raise the bridge deck clearance up about three feet, so mm -hmm. you've got nice clearance. And then you can have really nice beds. Mm -hmm. And these are great at anchor because you can lift this up, but if it starts raining, you can open that up and that locker can open up with a windsock. Okay. And then this, an air will come right. flowing, flowing through. Right. And then the, we do have air cons. We have soft start, uh, Frigamar, reverse cycle heat and, um, and air. And then we built in our own uh, ducts. Okay. What's cool with the lithiums is that if you turn off the main salon aircon at night in a really hot place, you can run these um, cabin units pretty much all night. Oh, right There's enough that. battery capacity uh -huh, to uh -huh. do that. So when one, one of the things about our boats that really, really sets us apart from most is all of the cabinets in our boat are handmade and they're all foam core panels. And look at this is all cabinetry, okay, from there all the way down. Mm. See all the drawers. Uh -huh. That is a lot of storage. That's right. And they're and, and if you feel that they're super lightweight, we do these boats in um, any kind of wood people want. Like mm -hmm. I'm doing my own in um, American white oak. Right. Uh, we're doing them in ash. We're doing one in a beautiful cantaloupe walnut. Yeah. This is actually where the washer dryer goes if people want that. Uh -huh. Right. And then if you want to see the the coup de gras. And then you, you see our wiring. And the one thing with our boats is you'll, when you really poke around, you'll see that everything is labeled. Mm -hmm. Everything everywhere is labeled. Mm -hmm. Here's your water maker here. Mm -hmm. Everything must be easily accessible. On the owner's side, you can have a massive um, wet locker shower. So you can put poles across and you can hang dive equipment, dive oh, gear, yeah. this wet is, suits, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. right? And it's a it's the least claustrophobic uh, shower you'll ever find in a catamaran. Mm. Just so you can see how the Versa helm works, the chain comes over the top of the sprockets at the base of the helm arm, yeah. and then these just goes to Spectra cord. So this is all mechanical steering. It's a sumptuous feel. It's like uh, it's like a racing boat for like real sailors, people that really love sailing. This offers just a great feel, and it's more reliable, obviously. But you see how everything's labeled on this boat. Presumably easy just to fix the as deck well. Gear. I mean, uh, yeah. Oh, piece of cake. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they just string the line. Yeah, everything's accessible. You can get in here to get behind the the freshwater toilets. You know, this is a privacy door, like you see. It goes across. Yes, I think most builders are probably going to lithium batteries. Yeah. And most builders are probably doing away with propane and going to convection stoves uh -huh, and ovens uh -huh. as we are. So this is a real safety feature. Now, uh, I don't know uh, on your boat what type of a main sheet system you have, but yeah, I, I think this is like fantastic. Yeah. And, and the sail's always vanged. It's yeah, always yeah, vanged. Yeah. You can't, can't lie. And right you don't up. have to have a Preventer, preventer yeah. that's going boom, 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 yeah, boom, boom, yeah. boom. Yeah. Cockpit table in the salon drops down to become a bed. Oh yeah. And the salon table drops down to become a bed. Okay. Uh, but it's important Great. because if you're shorthanded sailing. You can turn that into a bed. Oh, and yes. One person Easy could be access. sitting at yeah. the Versa helm 
and so if you're in rough weather at night you can just tap them on the tap them and they're right there yeah yeah and then this is just kind of a cool lounge seat that we have and you have storage underneath here you can either store a life raft under here or under here and there's storage under everywhere else and and it, look how open this is yeah. you know yeah. it's super super open so at the bottom of these steps you have a pantry for the kitchen, right? So this is behind the daggerboard trunk, right? Right. So this is, you, you know, a pantry. Yep. And then aft of the pantry, you have a toilet and a, uh, you know, a sink, right? A separate yep. toilet and sink. Beautiful. And then we have the shower on the inboard side. And then there's a sink in front of that. Yeah. And this is a complete wet shower space. Right. And we put the mistake hatch. That's what I call it. Uh. <laughs> we have the mistake hatch in the bathroom here because uh -huh. invariably they do leak and this and that. And so big deal. It's in the shower, right? Yeah. Yeah. No European can flag a boat unless it has the CE certification. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But that means we're forced to comply with their Stupid idea of what is I know, right. I know. And I don't believe in mistake hatches. This uh, is a big cabin too, isn't it? Yeah. 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 No, this is a, a, it's a clean cabin. Yeah. And we put USB ports, you know, in all of them now. Uh -huh. like, um, yeah. Beautiful. So this is just a bulkhead, right? Because that's oh, where you forward, have your forward yeah. sail locker, right? Yeah. yeah. Our light ship is a fully cruise equipped boat. We all think right. it's like, tr frankly, fraudulent to not Run include, your rollers yeah. and and weigh the boat with what it's really actually going to be. Because you know, yeah. everybody's getting water makers, yeah, everybody's yeah. getting all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. So on our when people order our boats, we have what's called an essential Voyager package. It's mm -hmm. basically everything for cruising. So mm -hmm. we start at that weight. Yeah. And then above that weight, we can carry another thirty five hundred pounds. Wow. Okay, that's good. Yeah. I would say that probably we have more cabinetry just on the outboard side of our owner hull than any other performance cut. I guess one question that is kind of like a, a hot topic at the moment is bulkheads. Our bulkheads are, are glassed mm -hmm. to our boats. They're, they're foam core carbon reinforced bulkheads. Okay, the, a boat like this is, doesn't squeak or queak. These are, these are hand laminated <laughs> boats. All the bulkheads are, are tabbed. You know, yeah, these are yeah. kind of like a rock. The structural beams are carbon reinforced. Yeah. Actually, the, these doors, these are solid. These are all carbon fiber. We make wow. our own doors, carbon fiber doors. And obviously, you've got carbon fiber over the top and under the floor yeah. to support this cavity. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's mostly vinyl ester and e-glass. Okay. Uh -huh. And we just brought it up from Fort Lauderdale. But they said that they were hard on the wind all the way up Chesapeake Bay fighting a two knot current and doing nine knots and that was against the wind wow yeah but again we're not making a racing boat no, it is no. a performance cruiser yeah right absolutely it's meant to be comfortable at anchor comfortable yeah. underway it's got really good clearance but it's you, like if you look underneath our boats you're not going to see a bunch of stuff yeah, it's just yeah. it's just like yeah, a dolphin yeah. and can you give us a ballpark figure so like in terms of mm -hmm. cost this boat fully equipped you know like cruise equipped so yeah. your base price is like a little over 1.1 1 .1 million mm -hmm. one, one million, million and a half you're at 1 million 450 to 1 million five yeah for this boat we have what we have a package called the essential voyager yeah. package yeah it's all the stuff we know everybody really this cruising is yeah. going to get and then if they tick that box you aussies like that expression tick the box yeah, yeah. so, so awesome. if you tick that box you get a 5% discount on that whole package. So our boats, when people buy them, there's a, a big document of standard equipment. Like it shows you which hatches, yeah. which, you know, da 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 da. Yeah. And then there's the tick box, which yeah. is, yeah. you know, the, yeah. the upgrade yeah. stuff. Yeah. One, one thing I would say about us though, is that 90% of our buyers have already owned yeah. one or two other boats. Yeah. People can choose their equipment. And yeah. so I would say it, every one of our boats is a little, is yeah. different. And of course, you you know everybody's painting them and wrapping them, and I mean nobody's like we've only had two white boats. Oh right, okay, okay. <laughs> I think we've done a great job. Yeah. I think it's, it's a, a lovely boat. It's a beautiful boat. Yeah, I think we've done a good job. I mean, it's just so spacious and open. Like that visibility is, as you say, phenomenal yeah. because you've got such good, you know, 360 yeah. degree views. Yeah, that's great. Look, thanks very Thank much. Thank you. Um, it's a pleasure. Yeah. Okay, so. We've just gone through the Balance 48. What do you think of it, honey? 
I actually like the Balance 48 very much. Yeah. Yeah, look, this is a spectacular boat. This is a 48 foot boat. It is 11. 0.3 tons which is about 24,000 pounds but it has a carrying capacity after you've got all of the cruising equipment on board you can still carry 4,000 kilograms of gear on board which is absolutely fantastic that's actually fairly realistic because by the time you know depending on what you do but by the time you get some tanks on there you get you know your dive gear you get your fishing shopping, shopping. All that kind of stuff you know it adds up so that's quite realistic yeah I thought. and so the performance of this boat is is absolutely amazing we have here the pole is for the next size up the 52 foot so this boat sails at 45 degrees to the wind and in 14 knots of wind you're doing seven knots at 45 degrees and it goes up to eight knots as soon as the wind picks up uh, mm. at 45 degrees. Mm. As soon as you crack off the wind you're sailing at wind speed or above so from six to ten knots at 90 degrees to 105 degrees, you do one knot faster than wind speed, mm. which is really quite amazing mm. and really good. At higher wind speed, you can also get higher speed. So it goes up to, to 15 to 18 knots if you're getting 16 to 20 knots of wind. So you can be doing spectacular speeds in this boat very easily and very safely. And so this is all about passage making and making good daily times in comfort shorthanded. Mm. So, Honey, what would you say are the standout features about this boat? Well, straight up the steering station and the versatility right there, so... Yeah, it's called the Versa Helm and this is where you have the steering, steering wheel can be vertical, where you're standing and looking over the top of the cockpit roof, uh, or it can be in a half vertical position or diagonal, and thirdly it can go all the way down so you can sit and close off the cockpit roof and have complete protection. Now this is actually a really good uh, feature from our perspective because when you are sailing in rough weather you really want to be out of the wind out of you the way you know what we're like <laughs> yeah we are just babies aren't we so i like the galley being up and i also like the aesthetics of the boat it's yeah. it's really pleasing to the eye and very functional and and the cabinetry the, the craftsmanship of the cabinetry is just spectacularly good mm. and everything is really well laid out easy access to the water maker and all the bits of gear so all of that was was very pleasing yeah the ergonomics are really good mm. um, it's finished off exceptionally well integrated mm. the air conditioning and also the DC charges meaning you don't have to have a generator and the air cons can work all night if you need them to I suppose the other good thing about this boat is there's so many little features that are really important when you're cruising so the water collection system the handholds that run the whole length of the cockpit roof of course the self-tacking tube can sail single-handedly and actively tack as Phil said without actually doing anything if you're trying to tack out of a lee shore for example is an incredibly useful feature mm. okay so overall this boat costs around 1.4 million for mm -hmm. a fully equipped um, cruising yacht mm -hmm. uh, high performance wonderful space inside so you are paying a little bit more for that luxury and that space and all those features but the whole variety of of fantastic features that are included with this boat make this a spectacular cruising boat and I was very impressed so this boat would be a really really nice boat to have and to use for world cruising shorthanded or even with a few people on board. I just think he's right. I think they have struck a balance. So congratulations film, absolutely spectacular boat and we would love to have one of these boats. So yeah you have to wait to 2025 at the moment to get one of these boats. But if you think this is the boat for you, then reach out to Balance and I'm sure they'll give you more details than we can provide here. Fantastic boat. We loved it. We are absolutely amazed what is going on in the catamaran construction world right now. There are many advances and this is everything is just getting better and better. We had a lot of people recommending that we check out Balance. So thank you to all those guys that did that. And um, hopefully you enjoyed this video, guys. Yeah, yeah. So thanks very much. We'll see you again for another um, review. And next week we are doing the... Dum, 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 dum. The Antares. So look forward to that, guys, and we'll see you then. All the best. Bye. Cheers, guys. We've got our drinks and we're going inside because it's freezing. <laughs> see you babies, next week. Babies from North Queensland. <laughs> If you have liked this episode, hit the like button, 
subscribe for free and ding the dong so you don't miss your fix of the next exciting episode. Love and health from the Barefoot Doctors. Like it's got so, a really so, nice on, flow. Uh, can I segue? Oh, so, goodness sake, I start talking and then you stop me. <laughs> okay. Don't do that. When, you re- when you're editing this, don't do that. <laughs> okay. So, you and next week we are doing the... Dum, 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 dum. I don't know. <laughs> what are we doing next week? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Thanks. Cheers, Annie. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Service with a smile.